booth and I'm here to take a look at Hawken. Hawken is a, it's a free-to-play mech uh, combat game that's coming out later this year. I'm joined by, by Paul from Meteor Entertainment. Uh, Paul, so uh, why don't you just help me get started here? Uh, just, should I, uh, I see here I'm on kind of a, a screen where it looks like I have some customization options. Sure, so what, where, you're, at, you're at what's called the mech garage right now. <clears throat> this, is the, this is the loading point where basically you decide what mech you want to use before you go into the game. You see up at the top of the screen there, you have a list that you can choose from. We have some pre-made mech templates that we've created for you so that you can decide what you want to do. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory, like assault. We've given you some machine guns, a shotgun, you know. Well, they're Vulcan cannons and flat cannons, but the analog would be like a machine gun or a shotgun. Sure. They're mech weapons. They're a lot bigger, right? right. Um, the tow rocket is a dumb fire missile, uh, but it's very powerful. Hellfire, like lock-on missiles. But basically what the player sees here is, you know, the, the choices that they have for their loadouts. They can select what they want to use. You can see what special items you have down at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, so, you know, your offensive item is uh, an HE charge. You can think of it like a grenade. You launch it out, it blows up area effect damage. A hologram, you drop that and it, tr it tricks other players into thinking it's an actual mech. It'll show up as a target on their screen. When they shoot at it, it'll flicker so they know it's fake. And then EMP is a nasty little functional weapon that allows you to shut down another player's mech if you hit them with it. So it's a great, you know, if you're in, if you're in trouble and you want to get away, that's a great, great, great tool. So is this, uh, do you think, as a, for me as a beginner, having never played the game before, is this one here a good mech to, to roll with? I think that uh, you'd probably you'd probably like to do the Vulcan cannon with tow rocket. They're both they're both pretty easy to use. What is tow rocket? Yes. Okay. So now that you're now that you've chosen what you want to do, you come down here and you click launch, and that'll put you in the game. So the, the mode we're playing right now is deathmatch. So everybody is your target. Straight deathmatch. Yeah, straight okay. deathmatch. This map is Sahara. This is a uh, this is one of my favorite maps. It's a very wide open map with uh, with some buildings interspersed. So it, it flows very well for deathmatch. There's a lot of places for sni for snipers to hang out, but there's also a lot of good places for uh, closer combat mechs to like sneak through and, and get and get closer to the mechs, uh, get closer to enemy mechs. Um, the, the Vulcan cannon you're using has a little bit of spin up, so when you start shooting, you're going to want to start. You're going to want to hold down the the left left mouse button to to spin up the spin up the gun and get it ready. It's it's more of like a medium up, up here in the oh up here in the corner you see is the radar. So red dots, red circles, those are enemy mechs. They show up on your screen. Uh, they show up on their on your screen when they're shooting or boosting. So as long as you're not shooting or boosting, you don't show up. But it looks like you are getting shot at. Oh, there he is. There he is right there. So you can dodge. Oh, oh man. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you mentioned you mentioned boosting briefly there. Yes. Now, how is that? How do I do that? Okay, the shift key on the keyboard, left shift, will yeah. cause you to boost board. If you if you use shift left shift with A or D, uh -huh. you will you will dodge to the left or dodge oh, to the right. Okay. There's a slight cooldown between yeah. when you can dodge again. But since you're in a light mech, that, that cooldown is slightly reduced. It's one of the benefits of being in a light mech. It's faster, it's more mobile. Sure. So uh, conversely, I'm guessing like a, like a larger, more heavily you know, armored mech is going to have uh, more hit slower, points. Yeah. Right. To kind of balance they, out. They're tougher. They can, yeah. take, they can take more hits. More oh. oh, nice! You just nailed him. You've got this guy. You've got this guy. Oh, you put him down. All right, so as you saw there, when you start attacking a target, you'll see their health bar. Yes. And as you're doing damage to them, you'll see how close they are to, to, uh, being, to being hurt. Now, one other thing, you're hurt right now, so yeah. go ahead and press the C key. C key okay. When you press the C key, your mech goes into, you have to hold it down, hold it down. Okay. but your mech goes into a repair mode where you can't do anything, your mech's shut down, but this little robot you saw there will repair the damage on your mech, and now you're back up to full life again. So that's how you can stay in the battle. That <laughs> I do it all the time. So, like I said before, as long as you're not shooting or boosting, you actually don't show up on the radar. Right. They show, they show up. Oh, I think you've got another guy. Oh, all right, I got an assist. You got an assist, one. right? So you, the points you get in an assist will be based on how much damage you did. One of the things you have to watch out for, you want to stop firing. Oh, well, oh, too late. Okay. Yeah. So your weapon, your primary weapon, has a heat value associated with it. So certain weapons will heat up faster than others. The Vulcan cannon is pretty good about not heating up too quick, but if you use it for a prolonged period of time, you will overheat, and then you have a period of about three seconds where your weapons power down, and you have to wait. So obviously, so the game is free to play. Uh, what sorts of things, like how will the, you know, the microtransactions or the monetization work? What sorts of things will players be able to? maybe purchase uh, as they you know as they progress through the game. 
So right now we're we're actually not really even talking about nope. monetization. Okay. We're at the point right now where this this is what we want. We want this game to be really 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 fun. So we're focusing on all of those aspects of the game right now. We want we want players to be engaged by this game. We want people people just have a good time. We have a very strong philosophy that if people are enjoying the game, then you know the money will come. Like people will pay for a game that they like. Uh, we don't, we haven't released any details on what we will monetize. I can tell you that we are not going to be a pay-to-win game. Okay. We don't want to be associated with that stigma. We don't want somebody to come in and play fifty dollars and be better than somebody else because they spent fifty dollars. Right. So what, what can you tell us maybe about some of the other other modes in the game? So we have three modes right now. Uh, you're playing deathmatch. We also have a team deathmatch mode, and then we have our flagship mode, which is siege mode. Siege mode is a. Uh, I, I'm actually we're actually pretty proud of this mode. It's a really fun mode where you you're, it's a team based mode. You have teams of up to six people, uh -huh. and the purpose of the mode is you have there's energy trees that are located on the map, and your your team has to go and collect energy from those trees and take it back to your base. The purpose of collecting energy wow you're really you're really doing good. <laughs> you're boning people. Uh, the purpose of collecting energy is to take it back to your base and launch a battleship. Once the battleship has been launched, it will start making its way towards the enemy's base. And during that time, it'll actually start shooting at enemy players, so it like harasses enemy players as it makes its way over. If the battleship makes it all the way to the enemy player's base, it starts shooting missiles at the base to destroy the base. Okay. Now, if you're on the other end of that and you have a battleship coming at your base, there's an anti-air turret located in every siege map. The, and if you can go and control that anti-air turret, it will start launching anti-air missiles at the battleship. And that is the most effective way to kill the battleship. It's really the only way to kill the battleship before it actually gets to your base. So, the way that the way that we escalate that gameplay uh -huh. is every time a battleship is launched, it gets more powerful. Okay. So, the first time it launches, it has like 8,000 hit points, and usually can go down in about four. It takes about four missiles to take it down. The second time it launches, it has 12,000 hit points and more turrets. The third time it launches, it has 16 hit 16,000 hit points and even more turrets. Um, the idea being that the more battleships it launch, the harder it is to keep it from getting to your base and blowing up your base. So that eventually, like, the match is going to end. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's the game. That's the end. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice little graphical bug yeah. there. Yeah. But, uh, uh, so yeah, once the, once the battleship just uh, takes down the hit points for your base, the other team wins. It's an extremely fun mode. It takes a lot of teamwork. A lot of teamwork. It's not like a. It's not a hero mode. You have to stick together. You have to work as a team. You have to have like good roles. Like somebody's going to go and run energy. Other people are going to defend the runner. Other people are going to harass other players. Um, I've seen in uh, I think a trailer for the game. I've seen a uh, map of like a, an environment that looks pretty different from the one we're seeing right now. Uh, what can you tell us about like the, the different maps and en environments in the game? So we haven't we haven't finalized how many maps we're going to launch with yet. Okay. Um, here on the show floor, we have uh, we have two two different maps that we've been showing. Uh, well, actually, yeah, no, two different maps that we've been showing. But there are three maps available in this demo. But w there's no final number for when we launch. I see. Uh, but the three maps here on the floor are uh, Sahara, yep. and the one you're probably talking about is Andromeda. That's the one that's been mostly in the press. That's okay. that's kind of the one that most people have seen. Yeah. Uh, it's like a city with lots of like. With lots of towers and a highway, and that's the one. Yep, yep. Uh, and then the other, the other uh, map that's here on the floor is Alley's. Uh, that's actually my favorite map because it's really fun for sniping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the the uh, the actual final maps, uh, we we will probably announce those later in the year. Do you know how many players uh, maps can support or matches can support? Our maximum player number is uh, twelve players, okay. six on six, or a twelve-person death match. Uh, when when can we uh, actually start playing Hawken? You will be able to play Hawken on December 12th of this year, 12-12-12. Uh, if you go to our website, playhawken.com, you can sign up for our closed beta. Uh, we haven't announced when the closed beta will begin, but if you sign up, you will be eligible to, be, to participate in the closed beta, and you can invite other people to lock down a call sign for when the game launches. Well, Paul, thanks thanks so much for giving us a look at Hawken here. Thanks very much for your time. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming by.